is Sami Abu Shahad, a member of Knesset for the uh, joint list. Uh, your party holds Benjamin Netanyahu's political career in its hands. If you decide to go for a minority government, that's it. Netanyahu gets sent home. Benny Gantz will be prime minister. Will you back a Benny Gantz-led minority government? I wish we were that powerful in the Israeli politics. Don't we are only 15 out of 120. The whole issue here is that the state of Israel has been being run in the last one and a half years according to the criminal files of its prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. This is the whole issue here. Israel is a very strange situation because between the two big parties who could form a coalition in any second if they like to, there is seriously no serious differences between them. They are nearly the same in all things that you can think of politically, economically, socially. They are quite similar. What is preventing this is that there is a prime minister in Israel who is running the state according to his own criminal interests. And, you and he as is a powerful party enough to do that. change that. You as no, a party, I, I well, wish... you have only 15 seats, but the balance yeah. of power, if you throw your weight behind Benny Gantz, he's prime minister. Will you do it? Yeah, but what you are telling now, the audience, is something which is not accurate, sir. I wish it was like this. First of all, Benny Gantz seems to be is not less racist than Netanyahu. Till now, he is in all his campaign. He has been saying quite racist things towards the Arab Palestinian minority in Israel. For example, he wanted a Jewish majority. Why is it allowed to be said in the Israeli politics something like this? I don't know. Why, so, so, so why do is I, it allowed for uh, a leader? Do, do I understand? Because I'm trying to read between the lines of these answers. When it comes for a question of who the joint list is going to nominate to be prime minister, whether to form a minority government, are you indifferent uh, between Benny Gantz and Benjamin uh, Netanyahu? Do you have a preference? Uh, we had a very big meeting uh, for this yesterday. What we have decided yesterday is something like this. First of all, till now, we did not have any official claim from Gantz to support him. And in September, he said that he doesn't want to have the Arab votes. Now, if he has changed his mind, he should go to the audience, he should go up out in public, say that he is sorry, probably he, he was misleaded or he was, did not understand exactly what is his power. And now he wants to do a change. And he should take to us formally in, in public. And then we will think about it. Till now, we didn't have any official claim. And what will be your conditions? I mean, what will it take for you, as a member of an Arab nationalist party, to do the unthinkable and nominate a former IDF general as prime minister? The joint list is a, is a democratic list. It's not just an Arab list. We have no, but I'm also Arab speaking specifically of, of your Balad faction inside the joint list. Balad also is a democratic party. What we, what we want to do is to, to, to serve our audience. This is what we want to do. We want to solve the problems and to help the Arab-Palestinian minority and the democratic forces in Israel. And we, are, we want to have a totally different state and society which is built on equality, justice, democracy. Does that vision involve propping up a minority government? Now, if we will have a good chance, if we will see, the issue here is not just changing Netanyahu the person. We want to change Netanyahu's policies. The issue here is not that we want to change Which Netanyahu one specifically, a, couple a of examples. with Netanyahu B. We want to see a serious change. First what of specific? All, what does Benny Gantz have the, to offer to, to, to get your support? He should deal with the joint list as a legitimate player like all the other political parties in the Israeli and political arena. And I want to ask arena. you specifically this about... This means I want that to he, should go, he should go out in public and say all the things that they were saying on Balad and the joint list and the Arab population are wrong. Uh, and so I want to ask you specifically about this. The right wing has been launching a very clear campaign to delegitimize the joint list, saying its votes essentially don't count for the purpose of forming a government, and, and saying that you are openly against the state of Israel. What do you make of claims like that, that you, the Ballad Party, are against the state of Israel? We are not against the state of Israel. We are against racism, we are against occupation, we are against putting Gaza under siege, we are against continuing projects of Jewidizing all the occupied land in 1967, we are against discrimination. What we want to do as the Balat Party is they to make a normal you democracy terrorism. for all, that's all. What we are doing, what we are trying to do, is to make Israel a normal democracy. Now the issue here is that Israel, we say, by definition, as a state that wants to claim to be Jewish and democratic, we say that there is oxymoron in this Jewish democracy. We can say they can choose between being either a Jewish state 
or a democratic one, because both do not go together. And yet you present yourselves as an Arab nationalist party. Is there no contradiction between other Arab countries claiming to be republics and to be specifically Arab nationalists as well? One might argue yeah, that's would, an oxymoron would, as well. I would totally agree with you that Israel, if you measure it on a democratic scale, can do much better than a lot of states in the Arab world and, and other states. The problem is that it got nothing to do when we are comparing it to a democratic state, to a normal democratic state. Now, if Israel wishes to be a democracy, it should try to try to compare itself to Sweden, so push comes Holland, to shove. Switzerland, what specific Belgium, issue? France. So push comes to shove. What specific issue is most important for you as the Ballad Party to get out of Benny Gantz in order to endorse him as Prime Minister? Give me the specific thing you want to change. To deal with the Arab leadership in Israel as the legitimate leadership and as the representatives of our audience. And that's, that, that's it? It's not a specific policy? This is a good starting point. Then all the other demands that we need, like for when we're talking about stopping demolitions of houses, this is something totally crazy. Israel is an expert in destroying Sami houses. Abu Shahada, this should stop. we have to go to a break now, but I'm sure the rest of the country is going to be waiting with bated breath to get some of the answers to the questions I've been trying to ask about whether your party will uh, back a minority government if push comes to shove. Uh, Sami Abu Shahada, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.